And then there is also another South American top talent. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel with Fabrizio Romano as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today guys, we touch on a top talent like Echeverri and another one who is coming to Europe in the next hours. Let's jump into it together. And so guys, let's get ready for this weekend full of talents around Europe because Hendrik uh, flying from USA to Madrid. He will be at the Bernabeu, he will be at Valdebebas in touch with his new Real Madrid life. He will join Real Madrid in the summer 2024, but he will use his holidays to spend some time in Madrid and to start adapting to Real Madrid life, start meeting people, including the president Florentino Perez. But also another top talent arriving in Europe this weekend and is Kendry Paez, 2007 top Ecuadorian talent who uh, is going to join uh, Chelsea when he will turn 18, so it will take still some time. But he will be in London this weekend to be at Cobham, to meet with Pochettino, to meet with people at the club. This is the plan as of today for Kendry Pites. So he will be in London also next week. He will start saying the structures, the training ground. And so an important moment for Kendry Pites. Same for Hendrik, the talents from South America coming to Europe in this weekend. And there is also another South American top talent who could join European top clubs soon. A lot of rumors in the last 24 hours on Claudio Echeverri. El Diablito is a very, very talented uh, boy, uh, born in 2006. Uh, he scored an hat-trick against uh, Brazil. We're talking about a boy who is owned by River Plate, but his contract expires in one year, December 2024, and now he still has a release clause into his contract at River Plate, 25 million euros plus some add-ons, so up to 30 million euros. But the base uh, guaranteed part is 25 million euros. What happens? In the rumors in the last 24 hours, the mention is about Barcelona and it's true that Barcelona appreciate the player. Uh, people in the board really like Echeverri, they know him very well and the player is uh, really attracted by this possibility. In an interview he mentioned multiple times that he would love to join Barcelona. He's a big Messi fan. So for Echeverri, Barca has always been a dream. But from what I understand, at the moment for Barca, it's not possible to pay the 25 million euros release really close in one solution uh, because of the financial fair play. And so their idea was to structure a different kind of proposal. But at the moment, this is not what River Plate want. So it's a complicated one for Barcelona with this current uh, structure. This is why also other clubs are entering the race. And from what I'm told, both Chelsea and Manchester City with Citigroup are discussing this possibility of signing Claudio Echeverri. At the moment, it's still not something decided or advanced, but both clubs are interested in Echeverri. Let's see what's going to happen there. Let's see who's going to win this race. There are also other clubs monitoring the situation, but El Diablito, Claudio Echeverri, is for sure one to watch. For Barca, it's not an easy one. They appreciate the player, but the structure of the deal is the problem. And City Group and Chelsea are both keeping close eye on this boy. So let's see how it's gonna advance, but for sure, Echeverri future is gonna be an important topic in the next weeks and months, because the boy is expected to join Europe in uh, the next months. Of course, it will depend on when the player will join the European club, but the possibility to close the deal is something concrete for the next weeks or months. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories. As always, remember to let me know your opinion in the comments. As always, like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.